understanding on the couch tonight. Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into an interesting English phrase, on the couch tonight. This expression is rich in cultural nuances and is commonly used in everyday conversations. So, if you're keen on enhancing your English understanding and adding a playful yet meaningful phrase to your vocabulary, you're in the right place. At first glance, on the couch, suggests exactly what the words imply. Someone is sitting or lying on a couch. The couch, a comfortable piece of furniture found in living rooms, is often associated with relaxation or socializing. However, when we dive deeper, we realize this phrase carries more weight than its literal meaning. In many English-speaking cultures, saying someone is on the couch tonight can imply that they are in trouble, especially within the context of a romantic or familial relationship. It's a humorous or light-hearted way of saying that someone is temporarily in disfavor with their partner, possibly sleeping on the couch instead of the shared bed as a result of a disagreement or misdeed. Let's see how this phrase can be used. After forgetting their anniversary, Jim joked with his friends, guess I'm on the couch tonight. In a light-hearted argument about who would do the dishes, one partner might playfully threaten the other with, keep it up, and you'll be on the couch tonight. This expression is often used jokingly, and understanding the context is key to not taking it too seriously. This phrase highlights the importance of humor and idiomatic expressions in English. It reflects how language is not just about direct communication but also about expressing complex social dynamics and emotions in a nuanced way. And there you have it. The phrase, on the couch tonight, beautifully illustrates how language can be fun, expressive, and deeply rooted in cultural practices. We hope this exploration adds a new layer to your understanding of English expressions and spices up your conversations. Remember, language learning is not just about memorizing words but about connecting with people and cultures. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.